help guys help a mom and a wife needs help a wife and a mom needs help guys help help hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're here for the first time i'm joycelyn binui and i'm a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. please if you're here for the first time do me well to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because trust me you're going to enjoy it while here yeah in today's video you guys before i start i want to quickly thank everyone who has been watching my videos everyone who has been watching and liking commenting sharing and all the light i am so grateful like I don't know how to say it but i'm so grateful i'm so thankful to you all for always stopping by for always clicking whenever you see my notification or for always clicking on your home screen whenever you see my video pop up thank you so much you all are my mvps in fact you guys you guys mean a lot to me if you don't know yeah so guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing a post with you all i read on one of my instagram blogs that i follow that's wives and mothers this is not the first time i'm bringing a post from that blog to this channel yeah so i'm going to be sharing the post with you all i'm going to just leave it on the screen since i'm not going to read it out so we all can read what the lady actually wrote and see how we can talk about this yeah let me just summarize what she was saying in the post that group as the name goes wives and mothers it is a group where women from around the world they come together if you have a problem or let me say if you have a difficulty or something that you don't understand you can always share it anonymously and people will come in and give their comments people will come in and give their own ideas their own advice and stuff like that yeah so there is this lady who came and dropped her own post her own anonymous post yeah she complains that she got married to her husband last year june yeah and they had their first baby in november that's from november till now till now we are presently in june again that means they are one year old in marriage and they had their first baby in november and right now their baby is seven months old and she was giving her complaint that when she was put into birth her husband was in the labor room with her so he witnessed everything that went on the labor the difficult labor and how she put to birth when the baby was coming out the husband was present yeah so after after she put to birth they came home and she healed and can you imagine that for all these seven months the baby is seven months old now the husband has been traumatized the husband doesn't want to make love to her the husband doesn't want to have any intimacy with her because he's complaining that he has that trauma from the labor room from seeing his wife go through all the painful labor and then seeing the baby come out of his wife is so traumatizing yeah so he she, she came to lay her complaint that it has been more than her she has struggled by all means so that she can uh, have contact with her husband to no avail and she complains that she is scared that maybe the husband is cheating on her she thinks that maybe the husband is cheating on her and she went ahead to say that this man is a very nice man the man is a very good man and he assists a lot and he has provided her a cook a driver and a nanny so she has all the help that she needs yeah so judging from what she said it shows that the man is a good man yeah but her complaint is that she is scared that since for these seven months the husband they haven't had any contact together like husband and wife she is scared that the husband is cheating on her so she asked that other ladies should come and share their experience if any of anybody has ever experienced something like that if it is normal or maybe the husband is actually cheating on her or maybe it's or some other thing that is wrong yeah so she came and shared this post and so many people chipped in their own advice so many people said what they had to say some people shared their own experiences and stuff like that this is something that actually happens to many people yeah this this actually happens to many women out there but so many of them they don't really have that confidence to share they don't really have the courage to share it with others yeah so after reading this post i saw that there was a lot for us to learn there and uh, f uh, getting other people's opinion about this and also hearing if some other people have ever experienced this is going to go a long way 
to help other people to educate other people to enlighten us more about what is actually happening in our society and stuff like that yeah after reading this post you guys kindly go to the comment section and share your own opinion about this post and if you the lady was placed in front of you what advice are you going to give her yeah so a lot of us are learning i really want to get other people's opinion about this because this is something i never knew that people actually go through this but i came to discover that it really happens yeah so many people are going through this yeah so for me I think that the husband of this woman maybe he has that phobia for seeing somebody go through a painful thing and stuff like that maybe after seeing his wife going through uh, the labor and delivery he has been traumatized by that experience yeah so I don't know I want us to share our thoughts and to share our opinions if we think it's okay for our husbands to be in the labor room with us if it is advantageous for our husbands to be in the labor room with us or it is disadvantageous and do you prefer your husband to be in the labor room with you while you're laboring to give birth to your kids or do you prefer that he should stay out of the labor room yeah so let's share our opinion guys i know that for us in africa in most cases they don't even allow people into the labor room it's only in few hospitals that they allow people yeah and abroad it is quite different because there it's just a normal thing that when your wife is put into birth the husband has to be there and i've watched in videos uh, from people abroad during their labor and delivery you see that the husband is there and when they come to the hospital they even give their own uh, uniform that they have to put on and enter the labor room but for us in africa i think it's a little bit different yeah because for my both kids, when I was put into birth, my husband was not in the labor room. He only came in after I had already put to birth. Yeah. Kindly share your own opinion in this case. If you want your husband to be in the labor room with you or not. Because in this lady's case, we see that the husband was in the labor room with her and he has, I don't know, maybe the man has a weak heart or something like that. This man might not actually be cheating on the wife, you guys. Maybe if he is a good man maybe he is not actually cheating on the wife but he is traumatized after seeing the wife go through other labor pain and then give birth and in another case he could also be cheating we never know yeah we never know he could also be cheating we never know but she just needs to do she just needs to do her findings and stuff like that if they place this woman in front of me that i should advise her what i'm going to tell her is she should not first of all she should not first of all put that cheating aspect in her mind because it's instead going to cause her to maybe bring tension into her relationship or into her marriage and stuff like that yeah so i would prefer that maybe she use other methods or like maybe the husband needs uh maybe they need to visit a counselor so that they can talk him through they need to visit a therapist yeah so that they can talk him through so that he can heal from the trauma because trust me this is just their first baby what about the other babies anyway but if it happens like this for the first baby for your next baby you're not going to allow him to be there but since he has already seen it he's already going to have it at the back of his mind he's already going to have that picture of it yeah so i don't really know come to the comment section you guys i want all of us to judge this case yeah i want all of us to talk about this i want us to share our opinion if we think this man is really actually cheating on the wife or the wife is just being worried for nothing and this man is and this man simply just has phobia and is going through trauma for seeing the wife go through all that pain and then the baby come out of her and maybe he is thinking that the wife has not yet still healed there is one other lady who came and also said that that she had the same experience and in her own case her husband even threw up in the labor room you can imagine there are some people who don't like to see blood there are some people who don't like to see people go through very painful stuff like that giving birth you guys is not easy yeah so she said her husband threw up in the labor room and stuff like that and they had to send him out later i'll even prefer that your husband should be in the labor room with you while you're putting to birth yeah so that he actually sees what the wife is going through so that he's going to give you more respect he will be, he's going to be more respectful of you he's going to know that yeah this is what my wife has gone through to give birth to our children yeah so I, I really prefer to me I would prefer that my husband should be in the labor room while I am giving birth 
but if you know that you have a husband who has that phobia like if you have a husband when you have your husband you already know the kind of person you're married to if you know that you have somebody who has that weak heart you're married to somebody who has that weak heart don't allow them to come into the labor room with you yeah because you know that for us women right we are the ones who are actually carrying the baby for nine months going through the pains going through the labor pains going through the changes body changes and stuff like that the way god has created us right god created us and made, made us strong for this you see that the man is not really strong enough for this that's what i believe the man is not really strong enough for this women eh, women are very strong you guys Men might just have that physical strength, but internally women are stronger than men. Yeah. So you see that God created us women to be strong, to be stronger than men when it comes to such situations, when it comes to handling stuff like that. Yeah. So you see that we are the ones actually going through the pain, giving birth to the baby, feeling the pain, but we don't have that so much trauma as compared to men. So from this case, I came to notice that not only women face postpartum depression, yeah, meaning that men also face uh, postpartum depression, meaning that men also go through postpartum depression. So men also go through postpartum depression, yeah, yeah, guys. So you see that postpartum depression is real, and men do go through it as women go through postpartum depression, yeah. So my advice for this lady is that she should like she should not just go ahead to ask for intimacy openly like that or straight like that to the husband she should use other methods like she should just make sure that she is clean make sure that she is well dressed make sure that she is keeping fit make sure that she's looking nice and sexy in front of the husband make sure that she is soft well spoken welcoming make sure that she prepares good food for the husband and uh, she should make sure that she should use other methods like Okay, like what the husband loves. The husband loves watching football or like love watching movies. They can just spend time, the two of them. They should create more intimate time together. That's like time for the two of them. Since she also has help at home, she can always leave the baby with the help. They can go out, eat together, spend some time together. That's that bonding. They need to reborn again. They need to bond again, yeah. Okay, for example, she could also... Like when the husband is having his bath, she could just go in so that they could have their bath together. Yeah. And let me say, if he's eating, they could eat together, whether it's at home or maybe they are going out to eat at a restaurant and stuff like that. Do it in such a way that that Johnny or Junior down there is going to react. Yeah, it's going to react. By the time he knows, Junior will already be reacting and he will be left with nothing. Yeah than to just go ahead and have intimacy with the wife yeah how could i have forgotten the first thing the first thing is prayers when such a thing is happening you need to pray about it if it's something that is strange that you're seeing from your husband you need to first of all pray about it go on your knees commit it in prayers talk to god about it yeah and another thing is also to visit a therapist because in this case maybe he actually needs a therapist to talk him through uh, his healing process and stuff like that yeah and also like to lure him to intimacy you could also like ask him to shave to cut off your pubic hair and stuff like that yeah because you know that like, once you see that stuff or like let me say for example also when you go and have your bath you just come in and dress like slowly in front of him and see if johnny is not going to react if johnny doesn't react then there is something seriously seriously wrong and please for men out there even if you have a problem like that you make sure that you explain it well to how your wife puts to birth please don't cheat on them don't cheat on your wife because what women go through to bear those kids that you people have you cannot even go through half of that pain if they put just half of that pain on you you're going to scream for the whole world yeah so please let's just cooperate with our wives with our husbands and make a better home and make our home comfortable make our marriages comfortable make life comfortable and easy for all of us and i also like to talk to our men out there to our husband to our brothers or to any man who is watching that if you're married 
and your wife just put to birth know that she actually needs time to heal and after healing you guys can go ahead to have your intimacy and stuff like that it is not good to keep your wife starving it's not good to starve your wife sexually it is not good to starve your wife like that from intimacy it is not advisable because these are the kind of things that start bringing problems into your marriage yeah so that is my own advice for her so guys kindly share your own thoughts share your own opinion share your own advice whatever thing you're willing to share in the comment section so that we all can learn yeah if you've watched up to this point thank you so much and if you haven't yet subscribed do me well to hit the subscribe button down there and turn on your notification bell so that once any new video comes in you get a notification and you watch thank you so much and see you guys in my next one bye bye